there, Manga Madame! Welcome to another episode of Slay Now. This is Mao. And this is Sam. Slay Now is your ultimate guide in facing each day ready to slay. Now let's start the show with the fab find of the day. The item that we love that we think you'd love too. And our fab find of the day is... Kind Skin Care. So this is a locally available skincare line with cleansers, moisturizers made from Korea. Yep, and they also have toners, which I loved. And I think just keeping your skin healthy and also with a good routine, which kind skincare is pretty much complete with, is very, very important. Yes, and also when you moisturize, your makeup looks better, mm -hmm. your skin looks fresh, and you just look healthier overall. Exactly. So our fab find of the day is... Kind skincare. Sharing is caring. Only the best for our manga madame. Definitely. And so if you're streaming this episode, please show us some love and subscribe on YouTube. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss out. Show us some love and you can also support by giving us a follow on Spotify. We would also like to give a special shout out to Friday Sparta Galera for making this show possible. The best luxury resort in Oriental Mindoro. Thank you, Friday's Puerto Galera. So, Manga Madam, for Sam and I, 2024 is the year of reinvention. This show included. Facts. And with reinvention comes our conscious effort to, of course, take care of ourselves. Check na check. So, we want an episode that is about self care, para all of us can be pak na pak. All the time. Pak na pak is right, and there's nothing wrong with investing in yourself, am I right? It's essential. Exactly. Okay, so Mal, when did you start investing in yourself? Honestly, it wasn't until my 20s that I started realizing that self care isn't selfish. Right. What about you? Same. I think mid 20s, I would say that I really, really paid attention to, you know, treating myself, um, looking out for my skin, because at some point you realize you're not so young anymore. Yes. <laughs> you got to take care of yourself, right? Yes, and I'm always researching things that will help me look better, feel mm -hmm. better, and do better. Exactly. And, okay, so just to begin this, what is your skincare routine? Because you have such great skin, Mao. Ikaw din. Salamat po. <laughs> so, for me, I have dry skin. Right. And I'm all about moisturizing and sun protection. Uh -huh. So, I think also for me, sun care is a great base under foundation or concealer. Mm -hmm. And also, less is more. Yeah. I think sometimes, as you get older, I have a lot of... Uh, I don't want to say crow's feet, but smile lines. <laughs> and if you're wearing too much makeup, everything settles in. So sometimes mm -hmm. less really is more. Just yeah. use coverage where you need it. And I do have a skincare routine at night. So mm -hmm. I do serum first. And then maybe once or twice a week, I do retinol. Okay. Which helps diminish pores, spots, fine lines. Right. It kind of is the great smoother. Right. And it removes the upper layer of your skin, right? It yes. rejuvenates it. I, I use a very weak one. I think it's like 0.5%. Okay. Percent, so it's okay. not even a strong one. Yeah. Um, like certain brands like Drunk Elephant have really strong retinols. I love retinols, Drunk Elephant. But I yeah. prefer the more tame ones. Right. I've yeah. never tried retinol before and I want to. I feel like yeah. my older brother, Michael, has been telling me about it. So I better get on that. But yeah. yeah, my skincare routine is very similar to yours. I do believe that less is more. Um, because for me, all I do is sun care during the day. You know those Nevia sticks that look like deodorant sticks, yes. but then you can put them on your face. And you're so right. It's a great base. It's like a primer almost. Yes. And then for my daily routine, I have a moisturizer. And at night, I have a serum. And that's really about it. And I do believe in double cleansing. Yes, same. So I, to take off my makeup, I normally do my Clinique uh, cleanser. It's like a the balm right. cleanser. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that. I actually used yeah. it in El Salvador. <laughs> yes, I, I saw. <laughs> so I do that, wash it off with water. Then I do my cellar water with mm -hmm. a cotton pad. Uh -huh. And then for my final, I do a foam cleanser. Right. I forgot the name of it. It's a blue Korean brand. Okay. Um, and it's like very skin tightening. It's cheap. I can get it at the drugstore for like 300 pesos. Okay. But it really tightens everything. And I feel squeaky clean after all those steps. I feel you. What do you do to take off your makeup? For me, I use a makeup wipe first, and then I shower. And then in the shower, I use a Cetaphil 
to like clean my face and then after i use the essie lauder uh cleansing cream but it does okay. feel like lotion it's very nice and it smells great okay. so i use that and then for my moisturizer i use chanel okay yeah social not so social so <laughs> <laughs> i can't even say social but no it's not that social but i love it because it smells great too i yeah. I'm, I'm big on smells and as you know i shower as much as I can. Yeah, she's a clean freak. Yeah. Germaphobe. Yeah, especially, okay, for the ladies, if you're on your period, like, I shower all the time, like, at least four times a day. Not with hair. I mean, I only shower my hair once, usually in the mornings, and the rest just body showers. Yeah, I try not to wash my hair too much, which is hard as a gym girly. Yeah. Because I go every day. But it's bad. It's bad if you, like, wash it You don't want to strip the natural oils from your hair. Exactly. That can also cause dandruff. Yeah. So that's why I try to wash my hair every other day when possible. Right. But sometimes if you have shoots all week. You can. No choice. Yeah. You, ha- you have to do what you ha- have to do. But you're <laughs> lucky that you can survive one day without shower. Because me, if I don't shower for one day, like I feel like my hair gets so oily for some reason. I but because I'm dry in general. Yeah. So I'll still body wash, but right. I try to leave my hair untouched. I try my best. Yeah. That's why I often have like a ponytail. Yeah. Or yeah. If, if my hair is slicked back in a bun. You know she didn't shower. That's a hair wash day. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're waiting. It, it's funny though. I remember in pageantry because my hair was so untouched before. I mean, I dyed it once um, when I went, I had a blonde phase in college. And after that, I went jet black. And I remember Mommy Bry, uh, my makeup artist, he would always tell me to stop washing my hair and stop using conditioner because it was so silky straight. So I only used Dove um, shampoo like or cheaper shampoos yes. to break it, right? And so the curls can stay longer. Because conditioner will make your hair heavier and will make it yes. fall. So if yes. you are trying to curl your hair, it will make the curls heavy. Yes. So just use shampoo if you intend to curl your hair that night or the day after. Yeah, and for me, if I'm going to straighten my hair, I'll put conditioner just at the end. Yeah. Because my hair is actually naturally wavy. Yeah, so. it's nice. Mm, bedhead. <laughs> <laughs> actually, to this day, I still practice not using conditioner. Okay, yeah. I don't think you need it. You have that gorgeous Filipina straight black hair. Pinayako. Yeah, it's <laughs> very beautiful. Okay, Mao. so what physical activities do you do to stay in shape? I know you you just said you are a gym girly. I've seen it. I've witnessed it. Mao's freaking strong. Butcha! You're super strong. I'm flexing right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I go, I lift weights about four times a week. Uh-huh. And I have to say my figure really improved when I started working out my chest yeah. and my back yeah. and my shoulders. Um, it just makes you more shapely, more toned. Yeah. And I think if you want to be, yeah, sexy, toned, you should lift yeah. weights. Yeah. Because say so many people think, oh, I'll get big. With like CrossFit or... Girl, you're not going to get big. Yeah. I think as, if you're a woman at least, especially with a similar build to us, yeah. we're, sl- we're slim, tiny girls. Right. Building muscle is so hard. Yeah. It takes a lot of discipline. You need to eat so much protein. Really? You are not going to get big. Dude, no. I feel It's the, hard. It's very hard work. I feel the opposite. It's like every time I lift weights, especially my arms, dude, they look so like macho. Like my veins are popping I out. Think like you're cra- But you're very lean. Yes, you've also got muscles. But I think majority of people, especially if you're new to the gym, yeah. you're not going to get big lifting weights. So let's yeah. break that stigma, ladies. Please lift. Yeah. I became so much more hourglass when I yeah. started lifting. Especially with your back, too. I feel yeah. that ladies quite often overlook the back workouts. Yeah, and also shoulders. I always admired Michelle Obama's arms. And it wasn't <laughs> until I started working out that I realized, oh, it's not she her lives. arms. It's her shoulders. Ah. She has very sculpted, defined shoulders. Right, right. And I love huh. the fact that you can't buy muscles. Yeah, you have to earn them. You have to earn them. For me, though, I love physical activities where, like, you have a goal. And for me, that's Muay Thai. We've went on a couple of yes. sessions together. I love Muay Thai. I love padel because mm-hmm. it's cardio. Um, yeah, padel. We do diving. Yeah, diving, We've swimming. We've done the Spartan race. <laughs> Traumatic. <laughs> 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 the Spartan hike or the mountain trail, right? It was a mountain trail that really was hard. Yes. The Spartan obstacle courses were all right. It was yes. just, you were against the sun. Yes. But the hike, 
Oh my god. But I love doing activities. I think that's a really good way to bond. Yeah. Because not only are you working on your fitness, mm -hmm. but I think doing activities together is just a good one icebreaker, two social thing. They say people who participate in sports like tennis, right? social games tend to live longer. Ah, interesting. Oh, we, we do golf all the time too. Golf, so. and then I just started badminton. Oh yeah, I really Why love do you say it? it's so British? Badminton. What do you say? Badminton. Badminton. Okay, I don't <laughs> say it like that. Badminton. Badminton. You're, you're silencing the I and the T. Badminton. Badminton. Ton. Badminton. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I agree to disagree. <laughs> Maybe I'm saying it wrong because I'm new to it, but I love it. It's yeah. so fun. And I'm playing with a bunch of older people. That's cool, though. And they're amazing. They've been playing yeah. since high school. Cool. And they're in their 50s and 60s. They must be really good, then. They're amazing. I, like, joined an all-star all -star group. Uh-huh. They, they're teaching me, so. Awesome. Let's see. Maybe I'll get good. Yeah, and it's always fun to learn a new sport. And also, I feel that bonding over sports activities is way better than bonding over drinks. For me. Yes. For me. Also, for those who are looking for an exciting date, they say if your date involves adrenaline, uh -huh. you get more bonded. I don't know if it's trauma bonded, but adrenaline if bonded. If you're scared, like <laughs> yeah. if you overcome something together, like if you're climbing and one of you slips and you help the other, like right. you'll have a deeper connection. Should we go rock climbing soon? Okay, but let's not be dangerous. <laughs> but I think that's kind of cool. That's why yeah. in a lot of uh, shows, right. they make couples do crazy things true and it's because it intensifies the bond oh. in love and in friendship interesting yes i will suggest for my next date all right mao so we have it for the physical activities what about the mindfulness activities what are some of those that you practice so i mentioned this in a previous episode we talked about it but right. journaling is very right. important mm -hmm. um practicing gratefulness I also like memory games. Yeah. I think as I've gotten older, sometimes I feel like my general math skills have fallen. Right, um, right. I'm just a bit more spacey. Right. So I like <laughs> apps that have memory games right. and more critical thinking. Right. Um, those help get gets the brain stimulated. True. What about true. you? How do you practice mindfulness? For me, it's reading, yes. I would say. I mean, I'm reading this book right now. It says, uh, which is entitled it's about speaking with power and confidence and so i don't know i just feel like there's some great tips there and also when i read a book especially that's fictional it takes me off of my world for a moment and you get to just focus on something just very wholesome and let your imagination run right i mean yeah. it's so very rare to see kids nowadays read books for leisure and it's, it's kind of sad because it really helps with your vocabulary um yes you know and yeah, I just hope that people don't limit themselves. And no matter how old you are, it's just pick up a book and read it. I mean, just do it, Nike. Yes. Yeah. All right. What about your go-to diet? What is, so we've hit on physical health. What about gut health? Gut health. How's your tummy? <laughs> it's okay, but I had a really bad tummy like the past two months for some reason. Um, one was, or two of them were food poisoning uh, from matcha and the other one from pho. I will not name the restaurants. You know, I also got sick with Vietnamese food. I think we last got year. sick around the same time. Oh no, no, mine was last month. Okay, yours was last year. But I also got food poisoning yeah. after Bali. Ah, no, but that was the Bali belly, and I think we all got it. Mm. Yeah. Wow, suffering. <laughs> suffering together, <laughs> trauma bonded. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but I think when it comes to diet, for me, um, when I advise people on how to get a healthy body, or at least aesthetically, for me, it's just fasting. But again, it depends on what works for your body because mm -hmm. not everyone can handle fasting, especially when you have acidity. It's, it's a very tough diet to follow. And for me, I, every year, once a year, I fast for five days. So that's just water fast and black coffee. And then every Monday, I don't eat, essentially. So Sunday night, which is 6 p.m. to Tuesday, 2 p.m. or as long as I can push it, I don't have any meals. That's very disciplined. I cannot yeah. do that. I am the most sensitive little flower. <laughs> I pass out. Yeah. I need constant water and snacks and caffeine. I, I think that was the hardest part about me getting sick after Bali mm -hmm. was I cut out anything acidic. I cut out all caffeine. Right. 
and I had withdrawals. <laughs> <laughs> From what? <laughs> From caffeine. I'm oh, really an right. addict. Yeah, same. I need at least one cup of coffee a day. Yeah, I normally have two, okay. which I'm trying to cut down so I don't have to rely on coffee on for energy. Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. But in general, when it comes to food, so since I am a gym girly, I'm right. always trying to prioritize protein. Right. So I, I'm not the biggest fan of red meat. Really? Which is sad because that's the best way to get protein. Right. But I'm always having chicken, fish, chickpeas are a good source, uh-huh. um, just beans in general. So right. I'm trying to always take protein shakes. Right. Um, instead, when I have a sweet tooth craving, instead of getting a Krispy Kreme donut, which I love, Krispy Kreme only has 180, 190 calories. Uh-huh. Only? Great. I can fit that into like... Let's say if I am calorie counting, because mm-hmm. I am an, an underwear model right. for Avon. Right. Um, when I do cut calories for shoots, I can sneak a Krispy Kreme in. Oh. If, it's, if my calorie count is at like 1,200. Okay. Yeah. So that just shows that you don't really necessarily have to cut everything out, everything no. good out, as long as you have a healthy balance. Yeah, they say 90% of diets fail. Yeah. So that's a psychological thing because right. if you're banning yourself from enjoyment, if right. you're really putting red tape everywhere, yeah. it's not an enjoyable experience. True, so true. So if I am craving chocolate, I'll just have a piece of chocolate. I'll have a yeah. piece of cake. I'll have a glass of wine. Right. You don't need to go overboard. Right. And for me, I think dieting is all a mental game. Yeah. Right? And for me, the one thing that helps me is when I see something and I'm fasting like for me my guilty pleasure is chocolates and so when i see a ferrero rocher right in front of me the first thing that comes to my mind is do i want that in me and usually it's a no (laughs) so you just don't eat it like it's the most basic equation ever if you want to lose weight don't eat yeah yeah but i do encourage people who aren't doing look based work i think for us our look is important right um to not put external pressure on yourself oh yeah not at all you're not an underwear model you don't have to look like an underwear model yeah please (laughs) no one is Uh, forcing you just make sure you feel healthy you know you look good you feel good yes make sure to yeah that your cholesterol Oh, yeah. Is in healthy levels. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think... Easy on the sodium, too. A lot of Filipino dishes, yes. like, they're so filled with soy sauce. I actually don't drink soda. Oh. I hate... Just by chance, I hate carbonated drinks. Really? I can't. I need my yes. Coke Zero. Don't I mean, touch my Coke Zero. <laughs> <laughs> I can drink them, but I, by choice, I don't gravitate towards them. Right. I think that saves me on a lot of sugar. Definitely. And if I am going to crave something sweet, I try to have strawberries or bananas, get that right. natural sugar. Because if yeah. sugar comes with fiber, it's far easier and more satisfying for the yeah. body to process. Right. You know, I actually came across this article where um, there's actually an order on what food group you should eat first so that your body can digest the food faster. Okay. So apparently you're supposed to eat your veggies first because it gives your tummy some enzymes and it coats your stomach with whatever it is. I'm not a scientist, but... Yeah, so maybe do some research on that as well. That's something I'm exploring. Yeah, yeah, very cool. I also love to start my day with a hot girl walk. <laughs> yeah, get your steps in, sis. I mean, yeah. 10,000 steps is always, always a goal. I was just making me laugh. Um, the guy I'm seeing right now, and uh-huh. I was like, it's time for our hot girl walk. He's like, can we just call it a walk? No. It's a hot it's girl walk. It's a hot girl walk. walk. <laughs> Let's grab our coffees and go. <laughs> but I don't know. I like to make things fun. Yeah. I feel like... It makes things more interesting, it gives more you lighthearted. More motivation. Yeah. And I think positive self talk is so important. So true. So, so true. So for me, that's saying, I'm going on my hot girl walk. I'm a hot girl. Yeah. We were even joking before this episode about this TikTok about this girl who's like, just be hot. And I really resonated with that. <laughs> like, yeah. You're going to do something? Do, do it, it hot. Be confident. Yeah. Like, really love yourself. Be the best version of yourself and just go for it. Exactly. I think. Never hold back. Yes. Yeah. What's a TikTok? Never back down, never what? <laughs> never back down, never what? <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is more like a holistic approach to self-care. What are the benefits that you personally enjoyed and experienced after you became conscious about self-care? I just felt lighter, even in my soul. Right. So mind, body, and soul, everything was more harmonious. So true. Um. And your energy too. It's like the aura that you give off. Yeah. And 
a, I could tell when a person really takes care of themselves, not yes. just through their physical look, but also just their overall aura and energy. It's so apparent. Would you, if you had somebody say, hey, I would like to grab drinks, but it's going to cut into your personal care time, which would you prioritize? My personal care. I have learned to not feel ashamed of putting you first prioritizing my self-care yeah over the needs of others yeah because that's me time exactly and you can't take care of others until you've taken care of yourself yes yeah 100 percent. so what benefits have you experienced from partaking in self-care um i think same as you like i just feel healthier i feel lighter i feel happier um recently i went to this healing doctor because my aunt recommended it and it was great you know my aunt i guess could sense that i had a lot of workload so i went to this um uh, doctor it's called the healing house near rockwell mm -hmm. and she told me that my energy was so heavy they were mostly here on top of my head and also near my stomach which meant i was thinking about too many things more than i could handle and a lot of things that i was stomaching in so how did she read your aura or your energy? Okay, well, she had this like dummy, but it wasn't like a voodoo doll or anything. Okay. It was kind of like an, an like an, the ones they use in um, old biology classes. Okay. Where you can see through the dummy, like your heart, your lungs, like you can see all the so organs. So it's a little skeleton. It. It's not a skeleton because it had the organs. Okay. So it was like a, a human dummy. Okay. Yeah. And you could see the body parts. Yes. And okay. so she was saying, this is me. I'm going to read you right now. So this is your aura here, here, and here. So after we did like a cleansing um, thing. How did she cleanse you? She just went. <laughs> she went. <laughs> oh, wow. No, but before that, there was like a card reading, but it wasn't a card reading wherein they tell you the future. It was more like a card reading where she put out five cards and based on those cards, she told me what my purpose is in life. Mm. So for me, it's work, career, love, family. Um, and then there are five other categories. I forget. It, it's been a while, but it was just very insightful. I resonated with almost everything that she said, to be completely honest, or maybe because I was going through something at that time. And so she cleansed my aura and I just felt lighter. And one thing she taught me is when you're home and you come across someone that you don't like the energy of, or you feel heavy and you're going through something or something's bothering you you hit this under your collar try it and under my collarbone yeah so you hit it completely and then you close your eyes and then you tell yourself i'm letting go of this problem i'm letting go of this so apparently this one triggers your body that you are not on survival mode okay so you can try it interesting yeah i'm gonna bring you one time sure we should go yeah I also realize that I don't have to put myself in situations that trigger my anxiety. So true. I mean, that's the best way to avoid it, right? Yes. Yeah. And for a while, sometimes I would prioritize networking yeah. over my comfort. Right. I don't do that anymore. Right. I go out way less. Yeah. And I feel way better. Do you consider yourself an extrovert or an introvert? I am actually an introvert uh-huh and i masquerade for work as an extrovert <laughs> but if you really see me in my natural habitat yeah. i'm quite quiet yeah unless i'm with a best friend or a loved one then i'm i have childlike wonder and i'm yeah. always joking yeah but you know i'm like a shell i need to trust you first right to be able to really completely open up yes. and put your walls and they down. Say that, they say that about cancers. Hard shell, soft inside. True. I can stand by that description. Yeah. What about you? Extrovert, introvert? I think I'm an extrovert in such a way where I really get energy when I'm surrounded by people. Yeah. I love to talk. Um, but also when I'm home alone, I love the silence. Like I never play music just in the background. It's just always silent because I feel that I'm alone with my thoughts, which is great. That's nice. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, even when I shower, no music. I, it's just my time. I really like music. Yeah. I like white noise. I notice that. Whenever we, whenever we travel, you always have music on, yeah. like in the room. But it's fine. I don't mind it. Yeah. But when I'm at home, home, that's when I'm like, all right. I think because with the modern age, my attention span has gotten smaller. Mm -hmm. So it almost helps me. And I, I read something that said... If you keep getting distracted reading a book, right. put on music in the background that matches it. Uh-huh. And it oh, will it help helps. you 
I it guess sets the tone, yeah. sets the mood. So Classical music would help. Yes. Like no lyrics. I do that a lot. If I'm cooking, I'm always listening to salsa music. Yeah. I don't know. It's more vibey. Yeah. And I think because I grew up as a dancer. Yeah. It just, it hits. Yeah. It feels correct. And if I may just interject, like one pet peeve that I have is that when I'm watching something or playing a TikTok, if someone else comes in the room and plays something else on top of that music or already existing noise i get so annoyed <laughs> it's really a pet peeve of mine so just wanted to share <laughs> yeah my pet peeve is when i'm watching anime and i'm so into it and somebody tries to talk to me i like pause it give them a death stare and I'm <laughs> you, like, you mean your bombastic side eye excuse me <laughs> i'm watching and reading yeah. i don't speak japanese yeah. <sighs> yeah i'm very passionate about anime yeah, yeah. sorry guys <laughs> Okay, so going back to beauty and skincare, and of course, self-care, what beauty philosophies and beauty must-haves do you have? I would go back to less is more. Yep. Um, enhance your beauty, don't change it. Yes. And for my beauty must-haves, I said this also last season, uh -huh. eye cream. Uh-huh. And hmm, for self-care... Honestly, I still love perfume. Yeah. It makes me feel beautiful. Yeah, smell good. Yeah. What about for you? What are your beauty, beauty philosophies. philosophies and must-haves? For me, it's like you. Less is more. Um, and then must-haves is the Evian water spray. Really? I just love it. Yeah. I always have like a small one in my car. Like before I go down, I just want to feel fresh. Yeah. It's like I mini showered. <laughs> Don't hate me. I don't feel like you are a less is more. I feel like you're a more is more girl. <laughs> well, I know I'm back in the back, but when it comes to my skincare, less is more. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I'm, I'm learning the art of less is more. I feel that I've toned down my yes. looks way more because pageantry is different. When you're on stage, like you need thicker makeup you need than to the be normal. Seen from the back of the room. Exactly. Yes. And the lights are just so strong. And I, and I have oily skin, so it melts my makeup right away. I prefer away. your makeup now. Thank you. You look way better thank you i look like sam <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah yes okay mal so what is the mindset you have embraced to keep yourself in check and motivated my mindset right now i think i've mentioned this in another episode is it's not discipline it's devotion right so everything i'm doing for my health for my skincare for my peace of mind it's not because, oh, I have to, oh, this is a chore. Yeah. It's because I love myself. I deserve the best. I'm planting the seeds of success, mm -hmm. of, you know, confidence, of self-love. These are the things that I want. I love that for you. Yeah, what about you? Well, what same mindset? Mindset is just go, 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 you know. Take all opportunities and keep growing. Um, and I also realize, you know, now that I'm in my <laughs> officially late 20s, that you just have to also keep watering yourself. Yeah. I know you say that a lot, but it's so true. Because sometimes you forget, like in the middle of um, the hustle and bustle of the city, there's so many things going on, so many things that seem so important on social media. But really, when you look at it from um, a bigger perspective, it's such a minuscule thing, yeah. right? So always just go back to your core, your values, and evaluate even yourself yeah. yeah also speaking of age i met a girl at the nail salon uh-huh uh, maybe a week or two ago who said she cried when she turned 30 oh right you told me and i just laughed because when i turned 30 i was so grateful like i got out of such a bad breakup yeah i was able to rebuild a lot yeah. of things that i had lost I think it's all in your mindset getting older isn't a punishment not at i love getting older <laughs> it is an achievement you've yeah. survived you're thriving you're yeah. living you're learning so i really hope that girls because a lot of the younger beauty queens are like oh my god you're 30 oh but now god. it doesn't matter anymore yeah, i mean yeah, come on i'm so shocked at what a negative view right. young women have of age right right it is a privilege ladies right and boys so do not <laughs> fear age it becomes your superpower you're wiser you're wealthier mm -hmm. you have stronger boundaries uh -huh. so look forward to 30 yeah 30 flirty see you in two years 30 yeah <laughs> okay mao so what personal victory or success story about self-care that you want our viewers and listeners to be inspired about Ooh, a victory or a success story so i think 
2023, I had a really negative mindset. Right. And a victory for me was learning to love myself again. Yeah. I think when you're surrounded by people who drain you and insult you, it's so... Vampires. Yeah, it's so Vampires. easy to start believing it. Right. And I didn't realize how negative my self-talk was. Right. So it was really changing that internal dialogue with myself mm -hmm. and saying, you are worthy, you are intelligent, mm -hmm. you are kind, you are powerful, you right. are, again, you're worthy. Yeah. So that was really something I had to reprogram. Right. Because I did have somebody in my life who was always like, you're too arrogant, you're too confident, you're too yeah. cocky. So I was like, okay. And I adjusted too much. Right. To the point where all you lose I, yourself. All I did was insult myself. Yeah. And like I do still partake in self-deprecating humor. Right. But to a line. Right. I don't have to rag on myself every day. I don't have to hate mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. I can be proud of who I am. I love that. Yeah. What about you? What's a personal victory or success story about self-care that you'd like to share today? Yeah, I would say the same thing. I was in a very bad place end of 2021. Um, a lot of bad things happened all, this, all at the same time. And slowly throughout the year of 2022, even till 2023, I was really finding myself and like finding a bigger purpose in all of it. So, yeah, I'm proud of me. Yay, Here we I'm are today. Yes. <laughs> Slay. <laughs> all right. So let's take a break from our discussion and play a game we call Slay or Valet. In this game, we'll read a list of statements that we need to react to. Either slay if we agree or wale if we do not agree. That's right. And of course, we will share why we chose slay or wale. Today's category is self-care and mindsets. Okay, so for the first statement, self-care is a form of self-love. Slay. Slay. Agreed. Yes. No need for an explanation. <laughs> yeah, it's necessity. All right. Slay or wale. Hacking my happy hormones to manage stress slay slay definitely that's why i use exercise just to boost my happy hormones exactly or i even pet lady that makes me happy actually animals yeah animals are such a good source of stress comfort. reliever yeah. yeah exactly lady pond to the rescue <laughs> <laughs> okay slayer wale self-care is expensive wale yeah it doesn't, it doesn't have, to, have be. to be again less is more yeah, especially if you're doing more holistic and natural things. Yes. There are a lot of options out there. Yep. And especially with beauty products like yes. skincare. Keep it simple. Investing in yourself is underrated. Slay. 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 Agreed. Always invest in yourself. Yes. No one else will. Yes. <laughs> so And remind sure you yourself do. too. Yes. Yeah. Okay, next statement. I should take care of myself before I take care of others. Slay. Maybe you said this earlier. Me <laughs> too. Episode. Otherwise, you will die. <laughs> you won't die. <laughs> you but might. You okay, gotta, you might. You got to put your face mask on first on the plane before uh -huh. you help others. True, true. All right, slay or lay. Self-awareness is the first step in understanding how we can take care of ourselves. Slay. Slay. Got to know yourself to take care of yourself. Yes. And always recenter again with your core values, who you are. Hang out with people who want what's best for you. Yes. Don't surround yourself with negative energy and things that give you anxiety, whether yes. that be going out or meeting someone you don't even want to meet. Yes. Yep. Respect yourself and have boundaries. Yes, ma'am. Okay, it's now time for our final segment, which we like to call Share and Slay. In this segment, we will share our final thoughts about today's episode. I'll go first. Sure. So much like Lugao, self-care is essential. Lugao? Right. Like the food? Remember during the pandemic, they were like, Lugao is essential. Ah, they were like, okay. Oh my God, I should know this. <laughs> I was here during the pandemic. <laughs> so self-care is essential. <laughs> Sammy, I'm trying to, you know, be more Filipino. I know, and I should be the better influence. I know, you're not getting my references. I know. Okay, because I have self care and I love myself. So <laughs> yeah, bang. I will still be confident. <laughs> yeah, Thank bang you. <laughs> what about you? What did you take away from this episode? Have some self respect. Always go back to your core and don't forget to take care of yourself. Yes. Yes. And there we have it. 
So that's it for today's episode of Slay Now with Sam and Mao. Make sure you show us some love here on Slay Now by subscribing to us on Spotify and YouTube. You can also follow our social media accounts at Samantha Panillo and at Maureen Montang. And again, we want to give our many thanks to Friday Puerta Galera for making this show possible. Special thank you to Real Rev and Pack Studios. This has been Slay Now, Now with Sam and Mao, your, your ultimate, ultimate guy in facing each day, ready to slay. Bye.